What's up? So this is my photo kit. I was just preparing for a photo shoot, so I kind of thought, well, maybe just record a quick session and talk about what is in my bag when I'm out for taking photos. So recently I got the A7R2, um, kind of late, but it was time to update also my A7S kind of was damaged somehow uh, the shutter is stuck so time to switch to a, another new new full frame so uh 42 megapixels quite a nice thing so um i got the first lens in my kit is the 51.8 fe lens from sony quite cheap but results are good i really like that lens it's sharp doesn't have any CAs or whatever and um, not that I've noticed um, it's it's good especially for the money so yes the AF is a little bit loud but or noisy I should say but it's all okay so this lens works really nice um, I also have this uh, 51 point no it's a 2.0 from Minolta uh, I have that on a a shift adapter there so I can like change uh, the focal th something <laughs> so that is nice but I use this lens basically most of the time for like freelancing you know like having the lens not attached to the camera and uh, like letting light in and uh, it's an interesting thing this lens works quite nice for um, uh, that kind of situ situation because this is a fully electronically uh, um, lens so the focus and stuff like that uh, can be controlled can't be controlled if it's not attached to the camera itself so this is like a uh, special used uh, lens not always on uh, in my kit but most of the time i have it there it's light and cheap as well um, going down this is the 24 1.4 lens uh, from uh, samyang there you go focus is a little bit slow on the fs7 um, yeah so this lens is quite nice um, it's mostly for my like documentary work and um, stuff uh, taking shots while on the road for graffiti and street artists and stuff like that um, all the street art stuff uh, most likely this is most used and now with the in-body stabilization it's nice I can use that for video and on this as well so I like this lens for walking around all day most mostly used when I'm uh, on the road for like graffiti and street art and all kinds uh, of event stuff this is my most used lens right after this one or maybe even i use this even more maybe um, this is one of the first samyangs i had it's a samyang uh, 85 1.4 also no autofocus so maybe samyang make uh, af version for this as well so uh, as soon as uh, here this comes out with the AF I go for it even more so than with this lens I like this for portraiture uh, all kinds of product charts when I have to take a photo from uh, like graffiti cans and stuff like that close-up stuff I, I use this lens quite a lot really like that I have the KNF um, concept adapter here it's almost like the comb light but this is uh, not as reflective inside so this is a little bit better autofocus doesn't work of course uh, with this lens anyways because um, this is a fully uh, manual lens so um, this is nice I like this lens nice and sharp no no optical um, stuff going on so really nice really sharp I like the look the bokeh is nice and yeah and this is the last one actually um, 
that's the that is actually the first Samyang lens I've I've got. Um, bought that uh, in 2014 um, with my A7S, and this is the 14 3.1 T-stop. So it's the F-stop is 2.8. It's the video version. It's an um, FE mount, uh, so it's native for Sony. I'm yeah, so doesn't really matter. So if, uh, adapter or not. Uh, those are native. This is a native Sony. This is native Sony. This is adapter. This is adapter. This is uh, native Yeah, so I most likely use this for the final shots of the artwork walls stuff like that as you can see here uh, This is a perfect lens for that. It's really uh, super wide angle Yes, uh, you can see that it is a super wide angle, but it's okay. I, I quite like that look It's sharp not too sharp in the corners, but uh, I've seen worse. It's a nice lens. Um, don't use it too often, so there you go. Uh, doesn't really matter that it that doesn't have autofocus. I, as I said, um, for the 85 and the 24, I would like to see in some young AF lens, uh, maybe. So um, for this, I might switch to a Sony lens. The 85 1.8 is quite nice. And uh, yes, there's the Sigma 24 1.4 with the MC11 that works quite nice, but it's a bit expensive, more expensive and bigger and heavier. Maybe not as tall, but yeah. So, but yeah, I, I really would like to see an AF version for that. I might get the 35 uh, 2.8, the small Samyang AF lens. Uh, that's also a nice price range. So we will see. So this is my kit. I don't take any other lenses with me. Um, I have a few others, uh, and uh, but yeah, I I really like the, those prime lenses. I. I'm covered with that. Maybe a 35 um, might be might be a good idea, but other than that, I'm good with that kit. Don't need any other stuff uh, for now. If I get other lenses, I let you guys know. I might do a special video just for the 51.8 because quite a few people say it's not a good lens, but it actually is a good lens, especially for the low price point. I think I paid like. 250 euros or something maybe even less anyways um, if you have any questions if you want a special video for freelancing for this lens or maybe the 24 in action let me know in the comments i will do that this was just a quick overview about um, my lenses what i do with them and uh, for what i use them so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one peace out Boom.